and that means each and every week we chat to the man who is in and out when it comes to all things gigs around Perth from Gig List, Gigs in List, giglist.com.au. I welcome the man himself, no pressure. Taz, how are you, sir? Good, thanks, Brody. Thanks for having me. Always a pleasure. Very, very cool to have you. Now, as I said, you are a font of knowledge when it comes to all things local music live and local music around Perth. What is going on this week? Well, I, I try to be, but uh, <laughs> there's just so much going on, it's impossible to, to know it all, you know? Hmm. Um, there's actually quite a lot happening this week too. We've got some exciting things, uh, some annual things happening as well actually this week. Uh, but before we get there, let's start with uh, Tuesday night. So tonight, uh, if you're feeling like getting out of the house and going and sitting around a nice warm heater and having a nice warm meal, uh, the Milk Bar at the Civic has the Jazz Club tonight. So Tuesday night, we know you've generally got the Blues Club at the Charles mm -hmm. uh, and the Jazz Club at the Milk Bar at the Civic Hotel. So tonight we've got the Troublemakers who are playing the Jazz Club of W uh, D yeah Jazz Club of WA at the Milk Bar at seven thirty. Yep. So good venue, good music, it's quite the place to be I think tonight with this weather. Very cool. It's a bit dicey outside, but as we say all the time, it's good to get inside and listen to live and local music. What else? Wednesday night. So tomorrow night, the four five nine bar at the Rose Mount. You uh, have you spent much time there yourself? I have frequented it a fair bit. What's going on there? Fantastic little venue. It's hmm. a nice sort of cosy size. Um, they only sort of relaunched it actually, uh, I think the end of 2021 roughly. Yep. So it's uh, yep. got a nice fresh vibe. They're actually now hosting a weekly jam session. So it's kind of like an open mic, I suppose, hmm. uh, but it's a bit different in that they've actually got a house band. So a local band called Lander is actually on stage. Uh, there are some MCs as well hosting the night. Yep. And basically, yep. you you sign up. Uh, actually, sorry, no, with with the jam session, there are no registrations. Actually, you can just rock so out. You just head along. You can you can take your instrument if you like, or you can just head along, and you can actually use one of the instruments there as well. Nice. And uh, hop up on stage and have a have a play with the house band. You know, just ask them what songs they might know that you know. Yep. Uh, soul, yep. jazz, R and B, hip hop, rock, pop. Uh, they they kind of cover it all, which is really great so 7 30 p.m every wednesday night actually uh, so that'll be tomorrow night at the 459 yep. um free entry as well so no registration or free entry so i think that sounds pretty great that is very cool something that's caught my eye on wednesday something that i've rarely heard of a pub choir is happening what's that about the pub choir mm. i've seen that too actually and uh, i'm quite curious also uh personally i'm not sure it's it's at the Astor theater so it's a you know bigger venue uh so I'm actually curious to check that out myself because I also have not seen that pop up. Yes. So pub choir at the Astor Theatre, Mount Lawley, at 7 p.m. Wednesday. So that that's also a suspiciously interesting looking one. Mm. What else has caught your eye this week? So Thursday night, I have to obviously talk about this one. This is an annual event, actually. So each year, the city of Fremantle uh, host basically a festival, I suppose. It's like a music festival called Hidden Treasures. And... The idea of Hidden Treasures is basically to sort of introduce people to lesser known venues, I guess. So they're sort of smaller venues typically. Um, and they, they sort of promote local artists being on the festival, uh, you know, Fremantle artists in particular, but also just, you know, Perth artists. Uh, so it's as local as it gets. So yeah. Hidden Treasures is actually a collection of events on Thursday night. So we have currently listed on Gig List. Uh, what have we got? We've got two, four, we've got five Hidden Treasures events happening on Thursday night. So each event is at a different venue mm -hmm. and ha has a lineup of about four to five artists. So there is a ton of artists. Uh, just to go through and just pick out a couple, I can see we've got Angie Coleman. Uh, we have Champion Sound. Yep. Uh, we've got yep. Leah Grant. There's there's a whole bunch. But if you jump on Gig List and have a look, there's basically Fremantle is just going to be coming alive Thursday night. Yeah, so. place to be. Oh, absolutely. And th there's some interesting little clubs too. So we've got like the Navy Club yeah. uh, in Fremantle, which uh, I've not been to myself. Uh, we've got the PS Art Space. So the Art Space is hosting some music. Uh, the Honky Tonk, a, a massive collection of artists. So Hidden Treasures, Thursday night. It kicks off around about 8 p.m., Yep. Um, yep. Uh, basically, between eight uh, to eight twenty, all the all the events will have kicked off. So jump on Gig List, have a look at that, and 
go explore some Fremantle and hear all sorts of sounds. That's what I'm probably going to be doing. Exactly. It's a place to be for you. Sounds like it's going to go off this weekend. What else has caught your eye for this coming week? Saturday night, what's going on there? Saturday night, we've got quite a lot, actually. I've, I've kind of picked out a few different sort of, I guess, genres, I suppose you could say. So if you actually, you could start your Saturday earlier. Uh, 8.30 in the morning, we have Steph Cleary, a uh, local solo cover artist who basically performs vocals, acoustic guitar, a fantastic voice on Steph. She also does a bit of piano and some other stuff. Uh, Steph is going to be starting a set at 8.30 a.m. at the Kingsway Markets in Madeley. Mm-hmm. So, fantastic way to start the weekend, you know, have a walk around the markets, grab a coffee, have a listen to Steph's lovely voice. Sounds very uh, cool. But to descend into the night, we've got... So, for the folks down Bow Divers Way, the good old Chase Bar and Bistro, I was there myself a couple months back for, for a, uh, a gig that night. Mm-hmm. So, Saturday night, we've got Dirty Little Secret doing their thing, 8.30 p.m., uh, at the Chase Bar and Bistro in Bow Divers. They're a uh, cover band, sort of, they, they describe themselves as an event and party band who cover the very best of the 80s until now. So, pretty great cover band, those guys. Um, I would imagine the uh, 107.3 audience would probably enjoy their set also. Yep, love the 80s here at HFM. Absolutely. And so to do it a little secret, and they do it well. So 8.30 p.m. at the Chase Bar and Bistro for those people down Bow Divers Way. Uh, Saturday night, also for the the heavier inclined fans, there is a pretty decent looking heavy metal gig on. I may or may not be on the bill. Would that uh, be the one in Northridge Lynn's that you're talking about? Oh, uh, yes, that could be the one. Yeah, Northridge, <laughs> we've got Linnet's Lounge at 7.30 p.m. Yep. Um, actually, this sort of is a heavy, it's a local heavy metal show, but it, it's more of a sort of a, a sort of progressive metal, so it's more sort of guitar orientated, um, a lot of clean singing. Yep. Uh, we have a, a range of groups, <clears throat> uh, but Consentium are hosting the night, and Consentium are actually most, mostly instrumental. So it's kind of like a uh, instrumental sort of virtuoso experience in a way. Mm. And they've also got Daniel Wiggins' group on the bill. Daniel actually does uh, guitar clinics himself and has taken part in some um, guitar clinics and stuff. He's quite the virtuoso as well. So uh, we've got a, a bit of heavier music, a lot of guitar work happening at 7.30 at Linnets. So mm-hmm. Saturday night, and there's, the, there's just a ton of stuff on. Uh, yeah. the, the, there's just so much on this weekend as well, so I, I just can't stress enough that you know, if you're looking for somewhere to go and, and none of this sort of piques your interest, just jump on Gig List and have a look. There's just so much. Totally Gig List. Gig List. Gigs in a list. Giglist.com.au is a place to go. One that's caught my eye for Saturday. Little Birdie fame, a singer, a little known singer in the way called Katie Steele. She's in Frio. Katie Steele is a name I've seen pop up quite a lot. Mm, very um, famous family. I'm curious myself. I, I'm, not, I'm yet to catch Katie, but I've, I've seen the name a fair bit and... Katie, yeah, it's Mojo Bar and Fremantle, so that's, yeah, 8 o'clock p.m. Mm-hmm. Sunday, I also had a bit of a tough choice, to be honest. Um, Sunday this week, we appear to have quite a lot of uh, solo artists um, doing their thing, which is it's always fantastic for a nice kind of chilled-out Sunday vibe, right, to, yep. to catch someone doing a sort of solo set with their acoustic. And the good thing about the Sunday shows is they tend to be sort of um, afternoon sessions or day sessions. Uh I had to pick out a couple that I personally am quite a fan of for, for this Sunday. So I'm seriously contemplating going here myself. I think this would be fantastic. So we've got Mandoon Estate in Caversham. Nice venue uh, too. Yeah. Ah, oh, beautiful view, great food. So at one o'clock PM, actually, we have a bit of a gig list superstar. We've got Ari Davis, mm-hmm. um, who we talked about recently. Yep. So Ari Davis at the Mandoon Estate uh, at one o'clock PM for a beautiful afternoon session i think that's that's going to be lovely but there's quite a few sort of solo performing artists um i did pick out another one a fellow that i've met once uh, myself so very lovely guy uh, puts on a fantastic show uh, but in craigie so further north the craigie tavern we have carmine napoli so he'll be on at 3 p.m entertaining the crowd with his fantastic tunes at the craigie tavern it is all happening one that's caught my eye simply for the name is the Cross-Eyed Cats. Do you know anything about them? The Cross-Eyed Cats. They have a fantastic taste and band name, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I haven't caught them yet, to be honest. So uh, where, where have we seen that? I've got a gig list here as well. So that let's have a quick scroll. Is on Sunday at the Mundaring Hotel at 3 o'clock. Afternoon session, so oh, that should be good. Awesome. Yeah, what an awesome venue too. That stage, I've 
yeah, I, I don't spend enough time there, that's for sure. Mm. It is all happening. Well, Taz, you are a busy man, so we thank you for your time. You are, of course, from Giglist, giglist.com.au, gigs in a list. Check it out. If you want to support live analog commute, that is the place to go. Taz, thank you so much, and we'll chat again very soon, my friend. Thank you, Bodie. Look forward to it. Until next time. As always, there you go. If you do want to check out live and local music, just head to the website and you can see what is happening. The All 80s Workday continues.